Good evening, Jason from Ottawa Praise. We're going to conduct an evening test drive and inspection on a 1958 Morgan Plus 4 tonight. Cars being offered for sale through an estate. If you're interested, 810-691-2664. It's a very original 48,000 mile car. Uh, the original owner still owns it. He's currently in a nursing home and um, this is part of the estate that is being sold off. I've got it jacked up, so let's get busy. Quick peek under the hood. Morgan used a Triumph TR3 engine, 2.0 liter. This one's been hopped up to a 2.2. Uh, it was built with having uh, removable sleeves. You could hop it up to a 2.2 or slightly bigger than that. And uh, this one has uh, Offenhauser aftermarket uh, valve cover set up, dual uh, carb set up, Kaz Kasner full race cam, which was pretty cool in the 60s. So it's got increased horsepower, got a nice little lump at idle. Engine was rebuilt professionally by a Triumph expert and the original owner can still be contacted and spoken to about the vehicle. can tell you all about it. He took delivery through Windsor. Windsor, Ontario was the closest Morgan dealer to Michigan. Uh, the owner and his son enjoyed the car, took it out every summer to Back to the Brits. It was featured uh, and uh, looked at and Googled over many times at the uh, uh, Waterford Area Car Show. I didn't mean Googled over. That was not what I meant to say. But you get the idea. People like to look at this car. It's real nice and clean. The wood's in good shape. The frame is in good shape. We're losing our lighting. Stainless steel exhaust runs down the right side. It's a Moss 4-speed tranny. That's what they used in the uh, Jaguars in the day. It was kind of a mishmash of uh, uh, parts. Morgan would use a variety of components from different manufacturers to put it together. But the underbody is in a nice solid shape. The owner told me that uh, the car still got the original rear brakes on it, if you can believe that. They've taken them apart several times over the years. Him and his son enjoyed working on cars, and uh, they're just they're in great shape. car doesn't weigh that much, so it never really wore them out. 12-volt battery's been replaced. Original factory knockoffs are in good shape all the way around. Uh, the tires have less than 1,000 miles on them. They were replaced... They were replaced about three seasons ago. The car's all set up and ready to hit the road while we're letting it down. The glove box was an open unit and the owner built this little insert to put a clock and a stopwatch in back in the day. The original gauges had a bronze slash brown face to them. He didn't like the way those looked. And by the early 60s he changed them out for these black and white face gauges. The originals are still in a box. Original steering wheel is decent. It's got a few cracks. Original leather hides are uh, holding up nicely for the age, but they do have some cracks in age and patina and deterioration. That door panel wrap over there is deteriorating at the bottom, but the car has a good driver quality presence about it for an unrestored 48,000 mile car. All right, let's get her fired up. Let's see here.
realize how late it was getting. I want to make sure I got headlights and taillights. And I do. And I do, so off we go. signals are working. It's a pretty hard car to drive and hold the camera. Here's a blast to drive. It's an unsynchronized first gear. That's not us, by the way. I just pulled in here at the gas station to give you a better view of the paint body before we lose all of our light. It's got some chips and nicks and scratches. It hasn't been painted in many years. The owner had it painted one time. The fat car was factory red. That was the way it was delivered original paperwork again the original owner is still alive and he's got a lot of great stories with traveling and touring in this car if this car looks like something that you might like to uh, add to your collection call us 810-691-2664 the windscreen's in nice shape the uh, convertible top frame is here uh, the vinyl top itself uh, is shrunk and it doesn't fit the car right so the vinyl top is going to need to be replaced if uh, you intend to have a top on it the owner pretty much just took it out on car show Sundays so it never really um, uh, he never really concerned himself much with it it's been without a top for almost 20 years the chrome is still in fairly nice uh, well maintained condition nothing's really been replaced a little bit of general wear there's some cracks in some of the headlight gaskets and just some various uh, nicks and stone chips in the paint the grill presents pretty nicely front bumpers got the original uh, plating on it so uh, it's held up pretty well over the years feel free to have this car inspected or fly into town and inspect it yourself uh, it's a very, just a very good driver quality car. I've put about 20 miles on it so far. And uh, going down the road is nice. It's got good oil pressure. All the gauges seem to work. Uh, this additional button was added. Gives a little extra surge of power. Jumps up the voltage on startup, but it's not really required. I've never really had to use it. Parking brake works. And uh, overall, just a nice little driver.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for riding along. Uh, Jason from Auto Appraise, 810 691 2664. few more stone chips and a couple touch-ups chips okay have a nice day we'll tool down the road one more time got a lift up on the shifter cylinder isn't it